Number 10, the uncooperative. The uncooperative, that's where it starts. Number nine, parroting. If I say, hey, where are you going? Or where do you hurt? And they go, where do I hurt? I go, what's your name? They go, what's my name? That tells me their brain is thinking about something other than the question I just asked. No. Number eight, perceived disrespect. Man, why are you disrespecting me? That's a big one. Number seven, history of violence. Did they have violence just before we got there? Have we been flagged at that residence? I mean, have we dealt with these people in the past? So a history of violence, man, was it a domestic that you're on now? Is it a bar fight? I mean, a history of violence is a, is a good indicator. Number six, intimidation. The person is um, using words to get a reaction out of you. And the thing about the intimidation is they offer uh, a condition. So an intimidation is a warning sign, but it's not as dangerous as the next one, which is threats. So threats is when they say, hey, I'm going to do this and there is no condition. It's just going to happen whether you like it or not. So number four, perceived custody. Are they looking at us as an extension of law enforcement? Are we thinking we're an extension of law enforcement? And that moves us up one step to restraints. If you research it yourself, don't just take my word for it, but I will guarantee you the number one incident in which a criminal assault occurs, restraints. Then we move up to number two, which is alcohol or drug intoxication. Anytime a person is intoxicated, be it alcohol or drugs, you can rest assured that uh, the potential for violence is very, very, very high. And then the last but not least, and, and the most important, is your intuition. If you get that feeling that something isn't right, it's the what's going on here it's just a moment in time that's the most important warning sign that you can ever get that there's a problem because your your brain may have perceived something in their body language that was odd uh, something happened but it was so fast that you didn't uh, consciously process it you subconsciously did and it was your intuition the human animal going hey buddy we have a problem so hope you enjoyed we'll see you soon you know, if you have one or the other, it's one thing, but you start putting multiple of these together and I'm telling you, you're on a very dangerous, uh, slippery slope and a very bad scene. The more of these you stack, uh, the more danger you're in. So just be aware of that. If you've got multiple of this list in you, someone that you're dealing with, yeah, it's a bad day. Be safe.